It's finally here! So the final piece of support for the branded Despia lore is here with the new pack beginning of the next journey. Three very important monsters that will turn this deck into a beast. Hopefully we can get some more, you know, unlimits in, in the Master Duel ban list. But up until then, I want to show you the new monsters, the new cards. Holy crap, we have Albion and Quem. So you can't actually see because it's right here behind my camera but guiding quem the virtuous is in the game this card is one of the best branded cards ever to be printed um it's kind of the pillar of the deck today in the tcg and also of course despi and lulu Wallalith, we have a new bestial bestial this batter the boss monster of the bestials and we have albion the sanctifier absolute beast of a monster we got some despia stuff to pull um which is good let's get cracking because i want to build this deck and show you what it can do i've been saving up for this so um yeah might as well get to opening. We got Ringo Worm, Dragon Guarding the Hundred Apples. Let's go. Here we go. Dispater. Oh my god. No, <laughs> no, it skipped. Holy crap. And we got a Visa too. Holy. So first 10 packs. We already did it. We're still missing Quem. Sanctifier. We need all of them. We, didn't, we need Lulu. Right here. Okay, this is looking nice too. We got an Ultra. Oh, we got the Vicious Astra Loud. Very good card. Blazing Branded King and another Dispater. Oh, nice. This is also new, um, but we need we need to keep going. No Albion, no Quem yet. We need one of each at least. Hello. Another Rium. And another ringo worm okay okay elbaz any upgrade there we go finally this is also new the bestial aluber this card is great okay let's see let's see oh there we go there we go baby no upgrade but this is it this is the one we need we only need one there we go there we go baby we got the quem all we need is the lulu we did get two urs the ones we need we're on the way we're gonna it's, it's fine if we have to craft lulu we also only need one there albaz yo yo holy crap <laughs> no so yeah quick overview about the three new cards quem is always a despia or dogmatica monster which means you can summon it off of branded opening straight from your deck now, if it's summoned, you can send a card that mentions Fallen Valbaz. That could be Retribution, that could be Branded Fusion, or all of the monsters. And if a card leaves the extra deck, which means if you or your opponent send a card to the graveyard from the extra deck, activate Prosperity, pitch the cost, summon from the extra deck, you can target one monster that mentions Fallen Valbaz besides Quam in the graveyard, special summon it. So this summons back Albaz to fuse away with an opponent's monster, and of course, Cartesia. Now, Lulu is interesting because it's first of all despia monster it's kind of big if a card leaves the extra deck you can negate a card your opponent controls and then all your monsters gain 500 attack which is pretty good and if it's sent to the graveyard during the end phase uh you can special summon one light monster spellcaster monster who's attacking he was on defense so basically quem or cartesia from the deck and then finally albion we mentioned before cannot be used as fusion material it requires one light spellcaster and one albaz you know what that means. Um, cannot be targeted, cannot be used as fusion material. And now, during your opponent's turn, during any phase, you can target two monsters in either graveyard. Special summon them, one to each field. You control the position, you control the placing, you control which field, which uh, monster goes where. So this is essentially meant to um, fuse away with your opponent's monster. So you summon an Albaz from your graveyard, and one monster for, for, for their field, um, then you fuse away with it. That's what it's supposed to do, but essentially, you can steal their boss monster, summon it to your field, give your opponent like an Ash Blossom in attack position. You can summon Gimmick Puppet Nightmare to their field. So, yeah, I mean, th th it's a pretty crazy and toxic card. Um, and also in the graveyard, it has a pretty neat summon effect. Maybe you'll see it. Let's let's get to dueling. I want to try this deck out. Let's draw the, the combo here. I want to show it. We have Ash as the mate to protect us from Ash. Uh, yeah, absolutely perfect here. Starting to get a lot of royals in this deck. Uh, I don't think they have Ash. So, uh, yeah, let's just make it very, very simple, right? 
Extremely simple here. Fusion deployment. Go into Cartesia. We have access to basically everything that we need here. Um, this is You just need access to Cartesia and, and Branded Fusion. This is why we max out on all of them. Now, we can actually just go Branded Fusion and go for... We don't really need... Um, do we want Albion? Albion can do this, and then we can do that, and then we can also get a negate, so that would be okay. Um, we can send Artesia and Albaz here, some of the Albion. Um, and then we're just going to go straight into Sanctifier here. Sanctifier is going to... Um, be summoned with the Cartesia in Grave and the Albaz in Grave. Just like that. Finally, the animation! Let's go! Look at this card! So nice. Uh, now, we're gonna get our Negate. Um, this is our fourth summon. And our fifth summon is gonna be with a Negate in hand. So, we're gonna grab Branded Lost here. Yep. Activate... Cartesia to summon Granganiol, Serenir, and Cartesia. And now we're gonna get Granganiol 1, Serenir 2 to get us follow up with Branded Fusion, and then Lost 3 to grab us in the gate. Um, actually, I'm actually not gonna send Retribution here. So I'm going to end on two negates to um, make sure that I don't get hit with a bestial or something. Even though the, the main problem is, is that call by is a two in this game. That is a big problem. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we can we can manage that. Now, this is the, this is the, the monster you want to summon to your opponent's field. You just need to make sure there's a monster to summon on your field as well. Um, and then we can go to the end phase here. Um, Cartesia, we probably wanted to summon it to, to our field, so we don't want to activate it to return to hand. Albion is going to be able to set Retribution, so that if there's a Bestial or something, we can actually negate it by shuffling back the Albion. And then High Spirits just go back to hand, because, you know, just for follow-up. And then we toggle on. We don't want Cartesia engraved, we toggle on. Then Albion... We can, we can now use the effect of Albion here, targeting two monsters, including Gimmick Puppet Nightmare here, Cartesia to our field. And maybe our opponent has called by the grave and we're all doomed. They cannot target it! It cannot be targeted by card effects! You put it on there. Now they're locked. Cartesia here. And it's done. Yeah, it doesn't really matter here, because they actually can't play. Yeah, they're setting up scales. I don't think they know. I don't think they know they cannot special summon anything that is not a gimmick puppet monster. And they scoop. Thank you so much for watching. This has been it. Um, let's look over the deck one more time so you have this in your Master Duel inventory. This is the deck, take a screenshot, check it out, play it, it's extremely toxic. I have a feeling that it might, like Gimmick Puppet Nightmare might get hit in the future, but um, because Brand Fusion is at 1, it does lower the consistency of the deck. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you want me to do more Master Duel, it's super important, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.